greeting. May I ask you about the Chantry? It is difficult to say what becomes of the Chantry now. They have no Templars, no leadership, and no one left who is worthy of succeeding the Divine. It has fallen apart when everyone needs it the most. I ache to think what this will mean in the days to come. What influence does Chancellor Roderick really wield? He's a bureaucrat, responsible for communicating the Divine's will to the rest of the Chantry. Therefore, he's accustomed to the clerics hanging on his every word, hoping his influence will benefit them. Despite that, Roderick is not a bad man. He's frightened and believes his place is to fill the gap left by Most Holy's death. Some might agree. As far down the chain of command as he is, there is no one left above him. How big a problem could he be? No more than he is already. He sent his message to the College of Clerics. That is the only card he had to play. Dealing with him further only lends him credibility he doesn't deserve. I'm surprised you rebelled against the Chantry. I left my own order when they took the wrong path. It is no different. But in neither case did I stop caring. Indeed, I care so much that I feel drastic action is necessary. I suppose history shall one day judge my actions. Do you really believe the Chantry is worth preserving? If you ask my opinion, it is. Absolutely. Cast the Chantry aside and new problems replace old ones. We will have learned nothing from history. The people need stability, and the Chantry needs a new purpose. Andraste had a dream for us. It can still be achieved. So what should that new purpose be? A dedication to what is truly important. Instead of building cathedrals and sewing gowns for the divine, the Chantry used to spend its coin feeding the poor. If we are to spread the Maker's word across the world, we must do so with open hearts and open hands. That sounds rather idealistic of you. Does it? I do not think it's so unachievable. The Chantry has many good, honest people. They just need direction and inspiration. They need to be freed from centuries of adherence to tradition and ceremony. A chance for renewal is at our fingertips. It does not have to come with utter chaos. Will the Chantry replace Divine Justinian? They will try. Once the priests withdraw for the grand consensus, it is against Chantry law for them to emerge without naming a new Divine. Sometimes it takes days, or weeks, or even months. The problem now is that no clear successor to Justinia exists. All worthy clerics died with her at the conclave. So what happens if they can't agree on someone? Theoretically, they will argue until exhaustion takes them or they see reason. Practically, however, if the grand consensus goes on too long, the Chantry will crumble. Any cleric with ambition but little sense will see this as her one chance, and plenty of such clerics exist. We shall see what happens. The Inquisition must act in the meantime. If they do choose a new divine, will you serve her? That depends on whether she would have me. I am a rebel now, remember? And even if she would, I do not know. It would depend on what type of divine she is. I am no longer in a position to follow blindly, and no new divine could expect such obedience now. Thank you.